Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy, coming to you with another video on a Monday morning. We've got a weekend full of sales, and I picked up a new office mascot that I really like, that I think you're going to find really cool. I'll show it to you in a bit. <laughs> Let's get going. Okay, what kind of weekend was it on eBay? Well, it's just another one of those so-so weekends. It's been really strange. Friday started out really strong again, and then Saturday, Sunday were just kind of... <laughs> yeah. So I sold a few items each day. I actually sold a couple items this morning that I'm including with today's total because I want to get them shipped out as soon as possible. You know, today is the 11th as I'm recording this. So, you know, we're down to two weeks before Christmas. So I want to make sure that these have plenty of time to uh, get to their destinations. Uh, I don't know how the, how the post office has been running. So far, I think they've been doing pretty good delivery times. They haven't gotten behind. I haven't heard any complaints from any buyers this year with uh, items getting there slowly. So hopefully, hopefully that the post office has been running smoother this year. Now I do sh ship some stuff to UPS as well, but those are usually the bigger items and I probably have at least one going UPS today that I'll show you. So let's go ahead and get into it. I, I always like to show the sports stuff, the sports cards first. It wasn't a really great weekend of sports card sales. Uh, kind of sad actually. Sold another one of these George Brett cards. This one $1.49, free shipping going out eBay standard envelope. Sold another card of PETA, yeah, from the Hunger Games. Sold another one of these $1.99. I think this is like the fourth one of these that I've sold. Uh, the other guy that I have from that uh, movie hasn't been selling. So he must be, uh, I think he was the good guy, the bad guy, guy. That card hasn't been selling. I got a bunch of those. The ones with Jennifer Lawrence, those have been selling pretty good. I sold like five or six of them to one buyer last week. So at least finally had one of those multi-card sales for some of those. Uh, sold a card of Tyrese Halliburton, basketball card. I don't know if he's playing good or not this year. I really haven't been paying attention to basketball. Sorry, basketball fans. Uh, you only have time for so much, and football really takes up a lot of time with games on Monday, Thursday. Now we're coming up on Saturday games. There's so much football going on. Just trying to get everything else done. I ain't got time for all these other sports. Uh, so, yeah, this Tyrese Halliburton, this is Donruss, rated rookie uh, choice, parallel version, whatever you want to call it. Price is going to come up a little different. I think I sent a discount, sold it for like $11 in change, whatever it worked out to. So $11 sale on that one. Uh, I did sell one graded card, a PSA 10 Jalen Strong autograph card. This is like a green crystal prism autograph rookie card. Uh, he had a chance to be good in the pros. And I think he was just injured all the time. It's kind of what happened. Went to ASU, played here locally. Had a really great college career, but then just kind of fizzled, fizzled out because of all that. Let me see what this sold for, because this could have sold through offer as well. i got to find it on my screen. Uh, no, it sold for $24.99, which I think is what I had it at full price. You'll see the pop-up if it's different than I gave a discount. But $25. Bucks. Bought this actually in a whatnot auction. I think I won it for like 3 or $4. Sold it for $25 on eBay. It's just one of those items. You have to wait for that right buyer to come around. Maybe that they're a ASU fan and they wanted that card for their collection. Now, of course, I did sell other sports-related items, but that was it for sports cards. Sold another one of these dirt pens, New York Mint dirt pens. Sold another one of these, I think $12, somewhere around there. Now, interestingly enough, I had a buyer of one of these from last week. Send me a message, say they got it, and the pen did not work. Tried everything he could to get it working. Couldn't get it working, so I had to go ahead and send him a refund. It wasn't worth him sending it back to me. Uh, so I went in and I actually tested the pens that I had in here and they all worked just fine. So maybe he got the one dud. Maybe he's scamming me. I don't know. I hope they're hope they're honest and it just didn't work. It happens sometimes. So uh, I sent him the refund, but sold another one of them today for like 11 or $12, whatever the pop-up shows on the screen. And I did sell a few more of these refrigerator magnets. Finally sold them. one, two, three of them. Uh, varying prices though. So one person bought this Miami Dolphins one. And the problem is, is this one's like a little toned. It's starting to yellow a little bit just from age. I don't know if you can see on the screen how uh, it's yellowed. It's not terrible, just a little bit. Uh, in the picture on the listing, I took a picture of this exact one because I wanted to let them know exactly the, the issues with this one. But it didn't show up as good as I had hoped. I took pictures of a couple different angles. Hopefully, they're not disappointed in it. Uh, this sold for, I priced it a little bit cheaper, like $11.99, I think. Normally, I was selling them at $15, so I took a few bucks off because that one had a little bit of toning with it. One other buyer, I think he was one of the ones that bought some from, from me in the past. Uh, he bought a Atlanta Falcons one. That's the first Falcons one that I've sold out of all these, so sold the Falcons. I think that one sold for full price, $14 or $15.99. And then he bought my last one of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I think I originally had 
four of these and I sold some of them really cheap and finally sold the last one at a decent price. This one sold for $40, $39.99 for the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks. Yeah, I'm sure I could have got that for each of them. Part of it was a learning process. Did not realize that some of these teams were worth as much as they are. So yeah, I got $40 for that, $15 for that on the one sale. Wow, that was a fantastic buy uh, from those bag hanging bags of those things that I found at the Goodwill. All right, we're going to keep rolling through with some sports items. I sold a Rick Nash McFarlane figure. This was when he was with the Columbus Blue Jackets, and it's a white jersey variation. A lot of the times with these McFarlanes, they'll do two, if not three, different jersey variations. They'll have, like, the blue jersey variation, uh, or the blue one might be the base one, and then the, the white one is technically harder to find. Uh, this sold for $40, $39.99, yeah, for that one, for Rick Nash. I had no idea when I bought it, that it was the shorter print, the variation, the harder to find one. I think I paid like $5 for it and I'm selling it for 40. So pretty happy about that. And then check this out. Yeah. Being a Bills fan, I'm happy to sell this Kansas City Chiefs thing. Yeah. Bills beat the Chiefs last night. Go Bills. Uh, but yeah, I found this at a thrift store. A uh, story with this one goes, there was a person that was holding on to it and looking at it and they were talking to somebody on the phone. They're like, yeah, it's a, like a license plate. It's a birdhouse and blah, blah, blah. And they're talking to him on the phone. I'm like, put it back down, put it back down, put it back down. You don't want it. They put it back down. I bought it. Yeah, it was $6.49. Who knows? Maybe I used a coupon that day and got a little bit cheaper. Uh, but yeah, if you look up like license plate, Football, birdhouses, there's people that are asking $50, $70, $80 for some of these different teams. I don't know. I don't think it was worth that much. I had it on my store for $40, $39.99. Had someone contact me yesterday or the day before, asking if I would take $10 less ago. $29.99? Absolutely. It took $30 for it. Wanted to get it shipped out of here before football season was over, and it sat in my store for like the next six months or more. And uh, it's the Chiefs. So, yeah, let's get the Chiefs out of here. Okay, next up, I finally sold another football helmet. It's been a while. Uh, I think I have eight or ten of them in my inventory right now. I actually have another one back there right now. I picked up the other day. I got to get that one listed. It's pretty beat up, but it doesn't matter. These helmets can have problems. They can be past official like use date. They can only be used for like 10 years, and then you're supposed to retire the helmets, not use them for actual use. But a lot of people customize these. This is an Adams football helmet. It's probably the cheapest model of helmet that you can find. So if you're going to buy Adams helmets, they definitely got to be under $10. Uh, this one here was missing the ear pads as well. No chin strap. Rarely do I sell these things with chin straps. Uh, it's kind of gross. Sometimes you'll find them with the mouthpiece still on there. Yeah, it's kind of gross. People, if you're going to donate your items to Goodwill, throw the mouthpiece away. Uh, but yes, uh, as is sitting uh, like this, still sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So yeah, I charge $15 bucks for shipping. Ships out in a 12 by 12 by 12 box pretty easy. Uh, yeah. Got a $30 for this one, paid just a few bucks. I'm trying not to hit my microphone, but I'm not still not used to having the microphone clipped to me. I know I wore a black shirt today, so it kind of hides it a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, I'm still not, I, I know I bumped it a few times. Sometimes I'll put items in front of it, and then it messes up the, the audio level a little bit. I'm getting used to it. Maybe I'll put it, get a little microphone stand, put it right here, and then I can come up and talk and be all fancy uh, like that. All right, next, this one, I'll call it sports-related, even though it's a college item. Iowa Hawkeyes, yeah. If you don't know about their football team, their football team's kind of crazy this year. They've actually had a pretty good year record-wise, but they're offensively, they're they're kind of terrible. Uh, the, their big thing is that their punter is really good, that their punt team and defense is good. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, they got beat up pretty good, I think, two weeks ago. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Iowa Hawkeyes, they call this a perpetual calendar wood block. They just changed the dates. I put the date on there of December 25th. Yeah, I thought that would be a good selling point. Uh, so there was, I think one of these was on eBay and someone was asking like $100 for it. It's not a $100 item. It's just some blocks of wood with a calendar on there. Uh, I picked up for $3.49 at a Goodwill. And let me double check. It just sold this morning, so I'm not positive what it sold for. It sold for $40, $39.99 plus shipping. I didn't look. I'm going to guess that it's going to, to Iowa or maybe to Iowa. A uh, football fan, uh, get this out of here. And uh, yes, yeah, cool. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, honestly, if uh, I could get one of these for one of my teams, I would definitely. If I, there's a Buffalo Bills one of these, I'd like it. All right, now let's get into the non sports related stuff. I know y'all come here for the sports. Come on, I'm a sports guy. Uh, probably half, if not more, of my sales are sports or at least team related. Not necessarily cards, but you know, just in those collectibles and stuff too. All right, let's go back here. Uh, so, because I, I got a story to tell with you, that's what I do on this channel. I tell stories about items. Uh, this is a Yo Gabba Gabba 
for like a birthday or a party table decorating uh, kit. So you got three different things. You got DJ Lance Rock. You got uh, Broby. You got some of the other guy. I can't remember all their names. Now, when my daughter was young, we watched a lot of Yo Gabba Gabba. It was kind of fun. I'm actually going to insert a little clip right here. Lunch time. Hey, everyone. It's lunch time. Time to eat. Yeah. Here you go, Broby. Time to eat. Yeah. Yummy, yummy, gonna eat. Yeah. Chicken. Yeah. In my tummy party party. Yeah. I don't know how much of that I got to show because... Uh, I'm sure there's going to be copyright strikes and stuff like that if I play too much of the music. But but yeah, honestly, it was kind of a fun show for a little kid. So if you got young young kids or grandkids, Yo Gabba Gabba was kind of a fun show. Uh, but this was something that I meant to do for fun for this year. My daughter's birthday was last month, and I meant to put it on the table for when she woke up that morning. And I totally forgot that I had out there in the garage. Bought it at a Goodwill for just a few bucks, sold for $19.99, free shipping. Yeah, so it's, it's not like it's an expensive item, but they do sell. And if you can find them cheap enough, especially if you can find them in quantity, and just do a multi-quantity listing, that would be great. Uh, but yeah, still got $19.99, free shipping for that one. Since we're doing free shipping, let's go ahead and do this one as well. I don't do a lot of free shipping, but sometimes if you go out there and look at the listing, see what's available and what's been selling, if a lot of them have free shipping, and I think you kind of need to offer free shipping, even if, you know, the price all works out the same. Uh, this one here is a Fallout role-playing game starter set. So, yeah, it's just a role-playing game. I'm sure it's similar to, like, Dungeons & Dragons and some of these other ones. They make them for all different themes. My favorite was called Top Secret. That was like a James Bond-type role-playing game way back in the day. So, Fallout 95 role-playing game starter set. Now, I did pay up for this. I think I paid $10 for this. But I knew it was going to be a pretty quick flip. So it sold for, uh, what is it, $37.99 free shipping. So it's going to cost me about $10 to ship. Cost me $10 buy price, $37 after piece. I'm probably netting $15 bucks is what I'm guessing. But it was a pretty quick flip. Bought it last week. Sold within a few days. So I have no problem making smaller, smaller profits if I know that uh, they're going to sell quickly. And it's not like you have any testing on that. You don't have parts to count. It's sealed. So the less work involved, like I said, I'm, I'm plenty willing to uh, make a little less money. Now, items like this that have a lot of testing, uh, then, yeah, you need to make a little more on these. I finally sold another set of these. It's been quite a while. Uh, if you've watched my channel, that you know that I've sold quite a few of these sets of these Fisher-Price Linkables. And I figured come Christmas time, these things would be flying off my shelf. Uh, this was the first set that I've probably sold in two, three months for a while there. I was selling one of these every week or two. You get a set of five of these. So you get the otter, you get the sloth, you get uh, the beaver, there's a moose. And then the last one in this is the, uh, what is this, koala. I, I know, I should know that's koala. There's actually a couple other animals too. And sometimes I'll uh, interact or switch which ones are in that lot, depending on what I have in inventory. And because I haven't sold a set of these for a couple months, I have a lot of them built up in the garage. I probably have 20 more of these figures out there waiting to, or I say figures, but toys to go out there and test and make sure they work. Now, generally my success rate is pretty good unless one of them has like an exploded battery in the compartment. Sold this set for $60. Yeah, $60 plus $15 for shipping. So they're paying, uh, do the math on that, $75 plus tax for all these but again, if you were to buy these new, you'd probably spend $120, $130, $140 to buy these all brand new. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to keep selling these sets unless unless it completely stops after the holidays. Uh, but yeah, I was I was really happy to get that set sold so I can get another set tested and, and out today. Next item, new in box. I sold the radar detector. I'm always surprised that people still use radar detectors. I, I honestly have never had one in my car. I never bought one. And I speed quite a bit. Don't tell the police that. I don't want them following me. Uh, I've actually never... Well, I shouldn't say that. In my vehicles, I have never gotten a speeding ticket. I have some crazy... So you want me to tell another story? Let's tell a couple stories. All right. So I got two good ones for speeding. Again, didn't get tickets for these. I used to have it, uh, an 89.50 Mustang Blue. It was my favorite car I've ever had. I wish I had never gotten rid of that car. Uh, but, but yeah, I did. Uh, I was going down the freeway here in... Uh, Phoenix, going into Tempe, I had to be going 85, 90 miles an hour 
in like the next fast line, and I had a tail light missing at the time. Uh, the speed limit there was probably 55, 65 tops. Had a cop pull up next to me, look over at me, and over his intercom, looks over at me and goes, slow down, and he kept going. Who does that happen to? That happened to me. Crazy. I mean, people think if you have a Mustang, you have a sports car, that you're instantly going to get a ticket. I was going well over the speed limit. Obviously, he didn't have time. Otherwise, he would have given me a ticket. But if I'm going to just pull up next to me and go do, give me the slow down, thanks to that cop for not uh, busting me because uh, I didn't have a lot of money back then. Not that I have a lot now. But yeah, a, a speeding ticket would have killed me back then for a couple hundred bucks, whatever it would have been. The other one, very similar story. Coming back from California with a friend of mine, Brian, at the time. Uh, we were coming back from, I think, delivering some sports card stuff. Yeah, I've been involved in the sports card industry for forever. So this is back when I was in like high school, maybe just after. I think it was, I think it was high school age, probably a senior. Uh, we're coming back from California, and we're in my dad's pickup truck, small little pickup truck. I'm not gonna lie, we weren't wearing seatbelts. The seatbelt didn't ding back then. I was a stupid kid. I felt like I was nothing would ever happen to me. So not wearing seatbelts. We're driving like 100 miles an hour coming back from California to Arizona on those, some of those long stretches where there's nothing. We're going 100, 105, somewhere in there. And I had a BMW fly by me. I'm talking fly by me. He had to be going, I mean, I'm going 100. For him to be going that fast, he had to be going 130, 140, 150. I have no idea. So as he's going, here comes a cop car. Same sort of thing. He comes flying up. I never saw him coming. Gets next to me, gives me the slowdown. He didn't do it over the intercom. He just did this, and then he kept going. And about 20 minutes ahead, he had pulled over that BMW. So again, circumstance uh, of, a, of a BMW going crazy stupid fast uh, saved me from getting another ticket. Anyways, maybe I should have had a radar detector back then and I would have known the cops were coming. Uh, but yeah, I sold this one brand new in the package uh, made by Whistler. I think that was a very common brand of uh, radar detectors. Oh, I, I got off track as I'm looking over at my uh, computer here. Well, let me see what this sold for. Sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So yeah, $30 plus shipping. I don't honestly remember what I paid for this. I just bought it like two weeks ago. It wasn't that much. It was like seven, eight dollars. All right, kids at home, don't speed. Wear your seatbelts. All right, next. Speaking of cars, we got this car here. This is uh, like a promo item from the movie Jingle All the Way, and it's the Turbo Man Racer car. This one had a couple issues. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see inside, but like the little decals on it are starting to peel up. I think they're just like little cardboard. Uh, pieces of paper uh, stuck on there. So they're starting to curl. Someone probably had this in their garage or in storage for a while. The box is fairly beat up. So uh, I priced it at the low, low end of what these things are selling for. I wanted to make sure that it got sold around Christmas time. You know, figure this will be a Christmas present for somebody. I think it's for 20 bucks, $19.99 plus shipping. I'm not making a ton on this. I think I paid six, seven, eight dollars for that one, but wanted to get this thing sold. So yeah, I priced it pretty cheap. I'd actually taken that item out to my collectible collectibles booth tried to sell it out there for $15 it didn't sell after a couple months I pulled it back put it on eBay and actually sold within a week all right here it is here's the last eBay sale we got a couple weapons let's see let's see will this be the will this be my thumbnail will I go like this is that is that a good one it'd probably be better if they were lit up but I took the batteries out of these because I don't ship these things with batteries in them but these are from medieval times yeah, you can buy these things there. They probably charge you $20, $30, $40 for one of these things. If you go to one of those medieval time little jousting dinners, we've done it before. They're a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, you can buy these weapons and banners and stuff. And surprisingly, they have pretty good resale value. Picked these up for 3 bucks a piece and it sold for $40 for the pair. Yeah, $39.99 for the pair of these. Now, you can sell them individually for $15, $20, bucks, but I had found two of them at the same Goodwill one day. So I went ahead and put them together in the listing. Uh, in the listing, I did have them lit up so you could see uh, the different colors that they make. They're kind of cool. I'm surprised they don't like spook the horses and other animals and stuff that they have in there with all the flashing lights. But uh, but yeah, another $40 sale. $40 seemed to be the number of the day. I had multiple things sell for $39.99. All right, now I told you that I had a new mascot for my office, right? Well, let me come over here. Let me, let me get them. Let's see. Hey, everybody. <laughs> all right. So yeah, this is Ted. Yeah, I found Ted the other day at a thrift store. I had no idea they made giant Ted plushes. Uh, I say giant, but this is probably the size that he is in, in the movies. And I saw that, I think it's Netflix, is coming out with a Ted series uh, as well. The movie with Mark Wahlberg did really good. 
he's he's like an I won't say extra, but he's an R-rated bear. I'll insert a clip here from Ted. Hey, Ellen. Yeah. Who's that over there? Oh, that's the new checkout girl. Yeah, very cute. You know what I like to do to her? Something I call a dirty fuzzy. So yeah, I don't know. I I thought about telling him, but he's been in been over here uh, off camera for uh, like a week. So I, I kind of like him. I kind of like Ted. Now y'all know I got my collection up here of stuff up there. You see giant Groot up there in the corner, and I was thinking maybe I could put Ted like maybe back here somewhere. What do you? I I think I kind of want to keep him. I mean, he'd probably sell for twenty or twenty-five dollars in my booth, and my guess is he would probably sell pretty quickly if I took him there. But I kind of like him. What do you think? I'll leave it up to you. That's your that's your task today. Put down in the comments, keep or sell. What would you do? Uh, and that's it for today's video. So I uh, thank y'all for watching. And uh, if you haven't already, you're still watching this thing. If you, if, if you haven't hit the thumbs up button, you need to do that now. And you also need to subscribe to this channel and my That Car Guy channel. I know I've, I, I'm like a broken record when, I, when it comes to saying subscribe and go over to That Car Guy. But I would really, really appreciate it if you could all do that today. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.